collar here, which is gonna provide three different functions, shock, sound, and vibration. So just looking at out of the box here, we have the remote, so you can operate it remotely. There's no on and off here, it's simply just a touch activation. You've got two sets of shock columns, one for longer haired dogs or larger dogs, others for short haired or smaller dogs. So you have your power outlet here, your charging cables, and your tester. So what this does is actually allow you to test whether the shock is working, it will complete the circuit and illuminate the light bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to compile this and show you how it works. I'm going to screw in the longer shock columns because it's gonna be easier for me to test it. And this will work at a range of up to 300 meters. So it's a very long range. It's also very safe for your dog. The power frequencies are very low. It's just gonna create just enough discomfort to dissuade them from you know, barking or any other unwanted behavior. Let's start back a few years. So you can adjust that here. And if you need to give it more length, simply take that off. And you can give it more length and then thread that through. So it's very easy and secure to make sure your dog does not run off or get off the trainer. Now once that is on, for comfort, obviously these are bare exposed nodes here. Now we're going to take the silicon caps, place those over the electric points. So this is going to be a lot more comfortable for your dog while still allowing for the current to transfer through there. So make sure it's at least two fingers can be kept through for the maximum comfort and usability. When we're looking at the device itself, it's simply a power button here. So you can hear the sound there. So a simple click press for the power there. The vibration, you can hear that. And to test the shock, we just need to put two probes here. And we can see that circuit is complete and the light is illuminated. So there are three functions there. So you can see here, in order to change the vibration and the power levels, for the vibration you have up to eight levels. For power you have up to 16 levels. So in order to change that, you're going to want to long press the channel button, which is one over two, and then on the side you can increase or decrease. So in this case, say let's want to decrease the shock to about half. And then I want to decrease the vibration. So it's gonna be a lot lower. We can actually change between two channels, which means we can load settings for two different collars. And later we'll show you how to connect those collars. So I might have a larger dog with larger shock here and a smaller dog with smaller shock here. So I can set this for two different settings for two different dogs and use that at the same time. So here we have a strap as well. So if you're walking, you can loop this around your wrist so you don't lose it. And you can also slip this over your belt. So it's a belt strap there. So that will be very convenient and it will help with not losing the device. So it's very useful and we're gonna show you how this is waterproof as well. So I've got some glass water here. Let's put it here. We're gonna submerge this entirely. 
into the glass. So as you can see, it's completely submerged and we're going to see if that still works. So it's 100% waterproof and that's going to be very useful for when your dog is swimming or being bathed or in any situation. For example, it's raining where you're concerned about the safety of it, you can see it's perfectly safe and it's not going to malfunction. Okay, so we're going to show you how to connect the device, so pairing it with the collar. So as you can see, there are two channels. I've only paired one channel, as you can see there. So if you wanted to buy a new collar or set up another collar for another dog, then you will have to pair it again. So 